Day weekend is traditionally considered the safe time to start digging in the D and planting in the ground. So no more freeze warnings. Yep. What do you think? Well, I think we're probably in good shape now, right? Uh, places like Farmer John's Home and Garden in Farmington Hills is all stocked up with all kinds of flowers, all kinds of shrubs, gardening gear, and a whole lot more. We're talking about the busiest weekend maybe for a lot of people. Lots of specials too. So what should you plant? Where do you plant it? Who's going to do it? I was saying to Susan, get out there. Would oh. you please? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, I did it. I did it as everybody watched it. I waved to everybody inside. How are you? I'm good doing to see well. You. Richard Gladwin back. Good to have you with us. It's good to be here. Good yeah. to be here. You're right. It is, it is finally time where we're ready to plant. And we've kind of brought uh, an assortment of a little bit of everything. Um, big, big concern and common mistake is that people will put uh, shade loving plants in sun, sun loving plants mm -hmm. in shade. Oh, there they go. And you're yeah. going to burn a shade loving plant in the sun, or a sun loving plant is not going to flower in the shade. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's one of the mistakes I'm making. So, how do you know the difference? Is this something that you should talk through with you guys at Farmer John's definitely, before we leave? Definitely. Okay. Um, you know, for the beginning gardener, we'll show you everything that we've got, but I kind of set everything up here. Okay. Um, so, for instance, we've got uh, New Guinea impatience, impatience. Um, I've got a fuchsia hanging basket here. We do have several different combo pots that are all mixed up, uh, ready to go for shade. Uh, and you can see you can get a lot of color even in the shade. So mm -hmm. it's not you're not just relegated to just green. Okay. Um, so what about this with the the leaves the size of a Buick? Is that's this actually <laughs> heart of the jungle. That's an outdoor um, plant. That is an outdoor plant. It is considered right. considered annual. It's tropical, so okay. it's it's not going to winter over in Michigan. It's something okay. that's yeah. Uh, yeah. you're just going to end up kind of tossing at the end of the season, but would look very cool on a patio or deck for sure. Very nice. Okay. Um, you kind of blending over here into sun. We've got right. some purple fountain grass, uh, and then I mean really the sky is the limit. Whereas with shade, there's just a small selection of plants. With sun. There's quite a bit of different things you can do. Obviously, you know your standard marigolds, which people mm -hmm. used to think just came in orange and yellow. Now they're they're available in mixes. Um, I've got ageratums, vinca. Uh, got my my wife begonias, right? begonias. My wife and my daughter love the Gerber daisies. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's their favorites. Um, geraniums, you know, an old standby. Um, right. Potato vine. Uh, I've got Martha Washington geraniums. Beautiful. There, there's a lot of different and the options. mix and match option, right? Because and that's like the this, thing, is, exactly. The coleus, coleus. Right? So yep. if you put this around the edge and plant something in the center, in the center, the something right? with height, kind of like we've done with that shade pot. There's gotcha. something with height in the center, and then mm -hmm. you kind of tear things down, mm -hmm. or you start with height in the back and tear things down from there. Okay. Uh, so idea. you don't have to necessarily purchase a pre-made pot. Mm -hmm. We'll show you how to do it based off of your taste, and then when mm -hmm. everybody comes over for that Memorial Day barbecue, you are hey, fancy. I did that. Yes. Exactly. And then Absolutely. full sunshine is over here to our left, right? <laughs> exactly. Blending over here. To the left, just past the blood grass, everything you see on this side is, is going to do very well in full sun. Just don't let it go dry. That's, that was that's my the next big question. Um, I don't know when to water, when not to water. What are some tips? Mostly, I do what's called the finger test. You know, okay. if the soil is kind of powdery on the top and a little bit moist inside, you mm -hmm. might be good for a little while, but it wouldn't hurt to hit it. If okay. we're into 85 degrees and sunny, it's very hard to overwater. Okay. You know, and we are already. I mean, right. that's the exactly. thing. You think it's the end of May and you may not be running out to water all the stuff you just no, bought. No, get the irrigation going, break yeah. out the watering can. Uh, it is time. All right. Yeah. So what are we talking about in terms of pricing and what's the range? Well, uh, for, for starters, I mean, something like uh, some of the smaller uh, begonias, these guys, I believe, start around 350, um, you know, four inch pots. There's, there's a broad variance. Right. I mean, okay. you, you get into like some of the larger hibiscus and things like that. Um, we do have like uh, price breaks if you get uh, certain quantities okay. of certain items. Okay. Um, so do you have actual specials for Memorial Day weekend? Not specifically for Memorial Day weekend. Mm -hmm. um, I know that we do have trees and shrubs and perennials are all 20% off right mm -hmm. now. Um, and it's just kind of in every section you'll see certain items will have, uh, you know, certain sale pricing uh, yeah. going on with them. Okay. Um, well, you've inspired us again. Absolutely. It really, I mean, it's it's great to think about because we we are not out of time here. That's and this right. is the time right. to start doing this. And then a little side note too is after you get your, uh, your patio or deck all ready for that big mm -hmm. barbecue you're having, ladies, if you want to stop by the boutique, uh -huh. have something to wear after you get your gardening done to impress the friends. Definitely stop by and check that out there too. You go. Good Wait to have you with us, us again. Thank and you this so is the much. Perfect weekend to do yeah. all of it's this stuff. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Farmer John's Home and Garden is located on Haggerty Road, just south of 12 Mile in Farmington Hills. And if you want more information, check out their website. It's farmerjohnsgreenhouse.com.